What is going on everybody? Today we're looking at the McFarlane Toys DC Multiverse Fidgetal Wave as Todd himself calls it. So we get physical and digital versions of the figures. So we have the physical versions here and we'll get the digital with cards I guess in the back. So you get those digital cards kind of like an NFT. So first we have the DC Rebirth version of Batman. Just we've had this figure before just in blue this time instead of the black. I kind of like this design. I think it looks pretty nice. Comes of course with an unmasked head and some weapons there. Then we get Aquaman part of the DC Classic. So it looks pretty good. Of course, body is going to be almost exact like the other Aquaman I have. I mean, it looks exactly the same. Just we get different heads there for Arthur. And then we get this extra little character as well. And then finally, we have Green Lantern. So it looks like the Hal Jordan version of Green Lantern and like an old school sort of outfit there for him. So that's cool. Of course, get the standard Green Lantern effects that go along with that as well. So all three of these look pretty cool. I'm excited about these figures like for their looks. Of course, I don't really care too much about the whole digital things. But anyway, these three figures look pretty good. So I'm excited to check them out and compare them to other figures we've had so let me get them open out of the box and we'll take a look at them together so we're going to start off with the DC Rebirth version of Batman. So we have had this version before, just this time it has blue instead of the black. So it's more of that classic blue and light gray color. So it looks pretty cool overall, but it is still just that DC Rebirth version of Batman. Like I said, we have had it before. So we've got the same body design with the same logo with the black bat with the yellow outline around it. Belt with the black painted on the inside or gold belt, I guess you'd say, with the light gray everywhere else with, of course, some of that design running through it, which looks cool. We have the gauntlets on his hands again in blue this time. So extra like thicker padding and everything there with the spikes on it. Blue boots there on his feet. I love the kneecaps with the bat head design. And then the blue cape hanging off his back there as well. So nice design for that. All the way up to the cow where we get his face. Which this is a different face compared to the other ones. Like the other ones have like smaller ears. And I want to say a smaller head design overall. Where this is from some other figure that they probably just reused. But painted with the blue head and everything. But looks good with the wide eyes there. And looks just like Batman. So not bad looking overall for it. Now this figure itself does have some issues we have an issue with the hip on this wide inside that's sticking out all weird and hopefully we'll be able to get a different one but yeah that kind of just looks weird and awkward for and he always stands weird because of it but for movements get that that'll twist all the way around look down that far and up that far so not bad movements the shoulders come up to 90 with the butterfly that's of course stuck in there but does go back and forth and rotates around we get the bicep twist and the double elbow joint that'll bend pretty much all the way up on itself which is good wrist twist around and can hinge wherever the ball joint is i can't see it looks like it yeah, flexes back and forth there then we get the ab crunch so under the chest section we'll crunch back and forth and twist all the way around and then at the waist as well we will crunch back and forth and twist all the way around then we can go down to the hips that'll come up pretty close to 90 yeah, up to 90 and out to the side very little thigh twist but the double knee joint that'll have been up that far to the back not far from his butt and then we get the foot that'll flex back and forth and can twist side to side with the toe joint on the end so not bad movements at all works out really good but with this being the digital edition versions we do get extra accessories so one thing we get is an extra Extra head, so we get an unmasked head of Bruce Wayne, which doesn't look bad, you know, kind of what I would picture Bruce Wayne looking like, so not bad, especially for the DC Rebirth version, so let's switch the head out. So there's the unmasked head, which I don't think looks too bad at all. Of course, it's always weird with, you know, the cow piece coming up around his neck and everything, but I don't think that looks bad at all for him. So that's an easy head we could switch out. He comes with some additional hands. So he's got a fist and like an open hand. So we get a hand with a trigger finger and an additional fist for that other hand. So we may switch this trigger finger hand out. And with that trigger finger, we can give him the bat grapple. So we have the bat grapple all in gold here, which looks pretty nice and stands out. So let's put this in the trigger finger hand. So there's the gun in his hand, which was kind of hard to get in there. I couldn't get it in any more than that there, but at least it holds on to us. So that works out. And finally, he comes with a gold battering as well. So gold that will match the gun. So that looks nice. And maybe with this hand here, we can maybe try and stick it in between his fingers. I was say almost like he's doing a throw. I don't know how this will work at all, but I was going to say maybe just try and stick it in between his fingers or something but I don't know if it'll hold it so I barely got it stuck into his fingers there of course it falls out super easily so not the best there but I think overall that looks pretty cool it's nice that he came with the unmasked head and the grapple gun battering like the Batmans always do but of course with these figures we always get their stand but these ones have new digital on there so you know which one it's from and everything so the McFarlane toys digital so that's cool with the nice like blue green logo so let's put him on that 
And as I mentioned, we have had him before, so this is just one of the various versions. We've had multiple versions of this so far, so this is just one I grabbed as the lighter gray and black design. But you can see it's going to be the exact same body overall, just with the different colors, with the blue especially. But like I said, with the head, they did switch out the head design, so this one has been the same with all of them. But this head does look completely different. It looks a little bit bigger. Like I said, the ears on the cow are a little bit taller on this new one. So yeah, just the different head that they used for that one overall. But like I said, body-wise and everything else is going to be exactly the same with these other DC Rebirth versions. And finally, we have his cards. So there's a picture of him, of course, from DC Rebirth, so that looks pretty nice overall. And on the back, we have his card, which is just Bruce Wayne and all the stuff we've had before, so nothing new or specific that we don't already know about him, so I won't read that off, but I like the card design. It looks pretty nice with the blue background and everything and all the different designs there on the back, so that's pretty nice for that. And overall, pretty cool Batman. Like I said, it just stinks with ours having the weird hips, so I'll have to try and get a different version of that that doesn't look so weird and awkward but everything else about it, i really like i like the blue and gray love the additional head and stuff i think it looks pretty good for an unmasked version and just like the colors for it and everything so it looks nice and classic but with that dc rebirth body and next we have what's labeled as the DC Classic version of Aquaman, which of course looks like the past Aquamans we have before. Maybe just the colors are a little bit brighter. Of course he has the shorter hair this time. We've got ones with the longer hair design. And then like the green's brighter and all that, but body and everything else is going to be exactly the same as all the past figures. So nothing really new with that, but Arthur Curry looks pretty good here. So we get his blonde hair again in the shorter design this time. No beard or anything else there as well. But the face just looks decent. You know, not the best looking face, but not horrible either then we get the aquaman outfit with the orange scaling up top which has a nice gold dry brush over the top of the scales to make them all shiny then we get the green gloves that have the little spikes that come up yellow belt around the waist with the aquaman logo and the green pants that go all the way down to the feet and then has the fins on the back there as well of course for swimming and all that so like i said body and everything is going to be exactly as we've had before so nothing new with that but overall looks good with this different head design you know makes it that nice classic look with the hair that's sort of flowing in the water but move wise we get that that twist all the way around look down that far and up that far so actually relatively decent movements for the head there the shoulders come up to 90 with that butterfly and rotate around we get the bicep twist and the double elbow joint that bends all the way up on itself with the wrist that'll twist around again hinge on that ball joint so up and down this time then we get the ab crunch under the chest so crunch back and forth and twist around and then at the waist crunch and twist around then down to the hips can come up to 90 and out to the side he can do the splits. We get a little bit of a thigh twist, not much, but some there. The double knee joint that'll bend up that far to the back. Of course, that fin's getting in the way. And then we get the foot that'll flex back and forth, can twist side to side, and has the toe joint on the end. So again, pretty much the exact same movements as that DC Rebirth Batman. So nothing really new there, but works out pretty good. Nice range of movements, especially that neck for some reason seems to work out a little bit nicer on this figure. But accessory-wise, we do get an additional head, so one of a more happier head. This face, of course, to me doesn't look too good. It has the weird tooth, a smile again, like that Superman we've had in the past, but let's see what it looks like. So yeah, not a horrible design. It's just that toothy smile. I don't know why they need to do something better to get the smiles pulled off. I like this, uh, you know, overall a little bit better than the other head. I just, that smile just looks so weird, so I'll definitely have to switch back to this head. And he also comes with a set of hands, so we get some flat hands probably for swimming in the ocean, so we have that, but I want to leave his grip hand so we can give him his trident so we get his nice gold trident there of course looks like all the other ones nice thicker trident design with like the spear tip on the end so that looks nice so let's put this in his hand so there's aquaman with his trident and then he also comes with another little character of quiz which is an imp from the fifth dimension that is allied with aquaman and occasionally joins him on adventure so this is a weird looking little creature little imp like elf thing so it's got the pointy elf ears the big white eyes with the little pupils which is weird a nice smile on its face some green hair that comes up to a point then has this yellow green outfit on almost like a little swimming outfit and his bare foot and everything else so with some big feet compared to it but overall looks relatively nice now this does have a little bit of movement like the head will twist around so it's at the neck the arms will rotate around and then the legs will twist around just at the bottom of the pants as well so you do get some movement and articulation in it, but not a whole lot but it looks pretty fun to go along with aquaman 
we get the base again that we can put him on. And we've had Aquamans in the past, so here is that like more basic looking Aquaman. Of course, like I said, outfit, everything is going to be exactly the same. They just brightened up the colors, so from the darker green and darker orange into the brighter. So always love that with the brighter colors. And of course, went from the long hair and beard to the short hair design for this. So it's hard to really tell which one I like more. I definitely love the colors on this newer Aquaman much more. But again, the face still just isn't fully there to me. I like Aquaman like this, but with longer blonde hair, but no beard or anything so it'd be nice to have like a combination of them but that looks good and then finally we have his card so there's Aquaman just sitting in the throne of course looks like a newer picture there for him and then on the back we have his name and a little bit of story but again we've talked about Aquaman plenty of times before so we don't have to go through that but you can read that if you want and overall it's cool to add him and then of course we can add him now with our more classic looking Justice League which we will do after the next figure. And our final character is the Hal Jordan Green Lantern. Now this is more of a Silver Age design or his original appearance. So like his classic design, which looks pretty good with this overall. Now it's not my favorite design, especially for the Green Lanterns. But like I said, it's nice getting him in this nice classic design there for Hal Jordan. So we get his head with his little green domino mask and white eyes. Now I don't like his lips because it almost looks like he has lipstick and it almost kind of gives him a Joker smile. But it's not a horrible face. And then his hair looks pretty nice with the poofed up brown hair and all that. And then we get his Green Lantern outfit. It. so a lot of black so black underneath on his chest and down the arms and the legs with the green on top of it it's almost like a green shirt or spandex design with the green lantern logo white gloves green underwear and green boots there on his feet and of course this looks like body wise the classic design ones that we've got with like blue beetle and stuff like that so overall looks pretty nice for that so i just don't like the weird design that it's like painted on there and stuff it looks a little awkward but it does fit with that more original design of how jordan but Moonwise get that little twist all the way around. Look down that far and up that far. So again, not the best movements in the head. The shoulders can come up to 90 with the butterfly and rotate around. We get the bicep twist and the double elbow joint that bends up that far. So again, all the way up on itself. Wrist will twist around and hinge back and forth with the green lantern ring there on his finger. We get the ab crunch on their chest. So crunch back and forth and twist around. And then crunch and twist around at the waist. The hips will come up to 90 and out to the side to do the splits. A little bit of a thigh twist, like a little more of a thigh twist. The double knee joint that bends up that far to the back is not too bad. And then we get the foot that will flex back and forth and can twist side to side with the toe joint on the end. So once again, decent movements and pretty much the same as the others. But for his accessories, we do get some additional hands, mostly for the left hand here. We do get a grip hand and an open flat palm hand there. So we get those two options for him. Then we also get his green lantern power battery so we get the green lantern power right which looks like all the others the more see-through design and all that with the green lantern logo up top and all that so with that grip hand we can take and put that into his hand and give that with his left hand there so there he is with the power battery in his hand there. So that looks pretty good. And then finally for effects, we get the same effects we get with a lot of Green Lanterns is we get the fist effects with his constructs there, whatever, more like flame hands or whatever. But we get this that we can put onto his hands. So you can have it just like that. So you just stick it on the fist hand. So just have the effects coming off like that, which I never really like those. I always hate these ball effects. I like when they give some actual effects to put on him. But it's nice they at least gave us something to show off his powers. Of course, he comes with the stand. We'll put him on. And finally, we have our more modern version of of Hal Jordan that we've had multiple times before with this design so it's nice to see the little classic design to the more modern design that we have here so it's really cool to get this nice classic design and of course we have his card so there's a nice picture of him looks like he's almost conjuring the green lantern and then on the back we have Hal Jordan which we've gone over his story multiple times before but again if you want to read it you can read that there with him and looks pretty cool with that and of course now that we have this version of Hal Jordan we can add it in with our classic Justice League so there's a more classic design justice league with superman batman wonder woman flash our new hal jordan green lantern aquaman and martian manhunters so are seven members of the justice league there with their more classic design so that looks really cool overall it's awesome to be able to add the green lantern and aquaman into this group forming up this justice league well, that's it for our first DC Multiverse Digital Way, where we've got the DC Rebirth version of Batman, the classic version of Aquaman, and Silver Age version of Green Lantern. So all three of these look really cool, like I said, especially with the Aquaman and Green Lantern, just to be able to have their more classic designs to add in with that Justice League. And then I really do like this design for the DC Rebirth version of Batman with the blue. Like I said, it just stinks that we have the weird hip, but I like that he came with the unmasked head and stuff that I showed you there. So overall, it works out pretty cool and looks nice for that figure, and overall, the wave is 
is nice. So let me know what you thought of these three down in the comments. And if you enjoyed my review, let me know with that like. And don't forget to hit the subscribe button to see more. But I want to thank you all for watching. I hope you all stay awesome out there. And I'll see you in our next review.